Most patients ask me this question sooner or later. Doctor, what can I do to improve my chances of getting pregnant? Should I change my diet, track macros, do intense workouts, meditate for hours a day? What's the magic recipe? Here's the blunt truth. There is no magic recipe. And that's actually good news. Whether you're trying naturally or with IVF, your body doesn't suddenly need designer solutions. Biology is boring. It rewards consistency, not drama. You don't need exotic supplements, fertility detoxes, boutique gyms or powders with fancy names. If it sounds like marketing, it usually is. So what actually helps? Eat like your grandmother advised. Simple, balanced, home-cooked food. Dal, sabzi, fruits, nuts, whole grains and enough protein. Not Instagram food, real food. Aim for a healthy BMI and steady energy, not perfection. What about stress? No, stress doesn't block embryos like a nightclub bouncer. But chronic stress does make this journey miserable. Sensible stress hygiene helps. Regular sleep, daily movement, some sunlight, boundaries at work and people who help you exhale. If a walk around the block or a phone call with a friend works, you don't need a mindfulness concierge. Exercise is the same story. Don't train like an athlete, train like a human. Walk, do yoga, light strength work, anything you'll actually do consistently. Hardcore workouts around egg retrieval or embryo transfer don't earn bonus points. Sustainability always wins. Now a word of caution. When normal life turns into a lab report, be careful. Many clinics love long lists of vitamins, micronutrients and mysterious fertility profiles. It looks scientific and it builds well. But without a clear reason, much of this is theatre. Save your money for what truly matters. Embryo quality and uterine readiness. Here's the boring checklist that works. Eat sensibly. Move most days. Sleep 7-8 to eight hours. Don't smoke. Keep alcohol minimal and caffeine moderate. Take supplements only if they are genuinely indicated. And follow your IVF plan with transparency. Will doing all this guarantee success? I wish I could promise that. IVF success depends mainly on egg quality and embryo competence, which are age and biology driven. Lifestyle tunes the instrument, it doesn't rewrite the music. What it does do is give your best embryos the best possible odds without distracting or exhausting you. If you've had a failed cycle, don't guess. Audit. Review the stimulation, egg maturity, fertilization method, embryo quality and day, lab conditions, endometrial thickness and timing, progesterone support and the transfer technique. That's how patients turn failure into feedback. And if you want clear, no pressure answers, use my IVF chatbot. It's trained on my 40 years of clinical experience. Ask anything, protocols, add-ons, timelines, decisions, and get straightforward answers in plain English. Ask Dr. Malpani, IVF chatbot. Calm body, clear head, competent embryos. That's the winning stack.